Uh, I got bangs, boy. Still cute, though. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna take our clippers that only lasted us two months and then cut the ponytail off, guys. That's it. Hope you enjoy the video. Go ahead and cut this, bro. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. We're moving too fast. Let me tell you why we're here. This is Silas. He's one of the barbers that works across from me, and he's about to get married. Previously, Sai was known for rocking this Floridian slash Chico slash whoever the hell else rocks his hairstyle for most of his life. And although this unique look suited Sai, he was beginning to face problems that could no longer be ignored if you catch my drift. And I know what you're thinking, Fonz, man, I already know where this haircut's gonna go. We already seen it. You spoiled it. You are cutting up the ponytail and you're probably gonna give him like a comb over or something, right? Well, my friends, before we even get started with this, I want to tell you how I truly feel. Boy, if you don't get this dirty Rico Suave weak old Mario on hairline. Ouch. That was a bit too much. I'm sorry. I guess the right thing to do now is just let people know why you chopped your hair, right? Why did you cut your hair? Well, there was a lot of reasons. Probably peer pressure from my friends, my so-called friends. Did anybody specifically tell you to cut your hair? Well, Justine told me if I didn't cut it, I would go bald. So, thank you, Justine. Were you worried to cut your hair before your wedding? Yes. But the question is now, what is the right cut for Sai? I mean, let's look at him. What are the options that we can give this man as we look at him in his unnatural state? So how about this? Let's take one thing into consideration before we choose a hairstyle, and that is Sai's head shape. He personally believes that his head shape is between a watermelon and a cantaloupe. I personally believe it's round. Big old forehead, round shaped head, light in the front, and a whole bunch of thickness all around. And I'm talking about the hair. So, but forget all that. We still have to choose a cut for Sai. And think about it. Can we give him the Anuel Doble A, a little bit of length on top to cover up the light spot? Or, or we can give him the party promoting length of a mullet. You know what I'm saying? He can keep that, that classy look in the front, almost like keeping the Anuel. So imagine the Anuel with the mullet. The, I don't even know how to say mullet in Spanish. If you know, put it on the comment section. But as much as I would have loved to see Sai's mullet glide gloriously through the wind. So I couldn't do it because he had to make a woman proud. And that woman wasn't even his wife to be. It was his abuela. Abuela! Abuela! So now that we know that he's trying to make his abuela proud, his wife to be happy, and not Daniel jealous enough to want to cut off his freaking dreads. Boys and girls, I think I know what I need to do. But first things first, grab your cheap ass water bottle that you instantly got buyer's remorse from the moment you received it at home and drench the hair. All right, so the top has been horseshoed and the sides have been wet and laid. Now with this wet laid side, we're gonna create this border. This border is gonna help us merge and bridge into the top. The top, we're gonna pretty much try. We're gonna try to keep curl length and the curl length is gonna help cover the front. Now we all have selfish moments and this is one of them frankly i don't have time to be doing this shaka. and by this shaka, i mean this damn edge i'm over here trying to edge side up before i'm even done doing all the freaking tapers i haven't even finished doing the back taper what am i doing okay so when you find yourself guys edging 
before you're done tapering catch yourself i know it's almost like eating the dessert before we even touch dinner you're not supposed to do it that way well you know you get a little bit selfish just know that your selfishness might lead to you being behind on your schedule and although this video is nice and fun to watch i'm also trying to tell y'all something give y'all some game and i can assure you if there's one game i don't like to play it's the game of being behind delayed on your book day i don't want that there has to be a structure and the structure comes from the system you already know that and the system that we're following right now is the lineup this is the the nice little finish and i still broke my own rule as you can see i did the lineup just for that side instead of just freaking going through my system right now i'm using the i don't know if you noticed but i'm using the gammas i haven't used the gammas in a long time i actually gave those gammas to my son he, he's putting them to better use <laughs> about tension in your life but when it comes to this hair choose the right comb so the comb itself gives you the right tension for this hair and don't take away any of that hair in the front that we're trying to grow we can't chop that up he needs it and speaking of needing i'm gonna need you to pay attention to what's going on right here remember when i split the middle in half you see when i did that and i merged it into the block graduation that was created on the sides it basically creates a guideline that once you elevate you know how much shorter to cut the top. So it's the fourth quarter and eight months have gone by. See, this is me and Sai on stage at a karaoke bar a few days before his wedding. Yes, the bachelor party is at full effect. And we are, I don't know what we're doing. I really, I didn't even want to do this, but I did it. It was also my birthday. So why not make the most out of it now on this day? All right, dog, what are we trying to do? So you're going to take this baby hair right here? The what? This baby hair. Sure. The lift, everything behind the baby hair back. This pose is the pose that I like to call the cut me up the day before my wedding long after standing on my feet for about 12 hours. But what can I say? Busy barbers at Headlines Barbershop never cut their own heads. They cut yours. And you want it to drop? Yeah, trying to conserve the crown. Conserve the crown. Conserve the crown. All right. All right, you heard him, guys. He wants to conserve the crown. So the irony in all this is he almost got to rock the freaking mullet. We could have got him, but he didn't want to do it. But you know what, Silas? I'm not even tripping because look at how short the front of your hairline used to be. And look at it now. I don't know about you guys, but we have major improvement. You hear me? I feel at this point, we know where we stand. We know what we need to do. We, we need to maintain these curls, not really chop much off about a quarter inch and drop the fade. So the sides are coming together guys i'm gonna go ahead and fade this back out notice how i'm going from that number three blue to purple two from that point on just fade down something i didn't mention earlier guys that i just thought about right now is that i used a little bit of clay and even those products felt to me like it was weighing his hair down so if you guys have any suggestions on what i could use on silas to to make sure that those curls are very voluminous i felt like there was another level we could have reached but so far it looks ready guys i 
did your fiance feel about this? We still murder. <laughs>